In this video, I'll be talking about an automatic transfer switch, which is a TS. It's about a year. The 20th of last month is a year since I have this and I haven't tested it out or do anything. I ordered that for the inverter. At the time I had a 24 volt inverter. I would still be using the 24 volt inverter but my brother sent me a 48 volt inverter and one of these outlets which I really needed. But today I will be talking about the transfer switch and I would be putting it in this box. This would be a separate video. I pre-cut and drill everything because I wouldn't want to do do it on um, video. It would take too long. So this is the automatic transfer switch. I received This is the switch. And uh, this is uh, the manual. Everything is in Chinese. Why would you need a transfer switch? Usually they, they use these switches on generators and line current which is the your utility when they take the current the generator kicks in this would transfer between the utility and the generator you could also use it for an inverter when they do take the mains it will automatically switch to inverter mode. It has two breakers, one on this side, one on that side, and it has a motor. You could switch it to manual by flicking this switch and turning it, which this side goes off this side comes on then you turn it the other way vice versa right now it's in automatic mode this is something i really needed and i couldn't get on island my brother sent it for me from england i told him about it and he saw stone this is very handy which means you can control whatever load you need i would be using it today to control this now down here you would hook i also ordered these panel lights you would be hooking these lights on so that you would know although it has the little lights there but you're putting that outside of the panel so you would know which side is on I will not cut the video. I would like to show you all the hooking up of everything. It has
okay now I would use this for the mains voltage please keep in mind that I'm not an electrician and if you're doing this you would be dealing with live wire if you're uncomfortable or if you're in any doubt get an electrician to do it for you any mistake you do you could either burn your house or kill yourself Now, if this doesn't work, I cannot send it back because it's a, a year since I have it. Now, to connect the bottom, this side is the inverter side. You could use any side you want for your mains and standby power then you would connect the two together for the supply Okay, make sure that everything is in. And tighten. So this line here is the one going to the house. This line here is the one from the inverter. Okay, I just test to make sure that the switch was off. 
okay this is it this is the main this is the inverter so the main is on you put on your main you see this is there and the main if they do take the power you see this is all there is to it you connect from this side to that side that's the main side so no matter which side that goes off you would always get your power coming out of this this is it for the this video if you find it was informative please like comment subscribe click on the bell icon so you'll be notified of further videos the next video i'll also be putting this into the the panel i will show how to hook it up although i have a video but not of this one of another one and when i'm putting this into the panel i will make a video of it also this is it until the next one goodbye